Jenny, positive from an investor perspective that they keep the CEO and uh, chair all separate? Yeah, I mean, I think corporate governance, governance experts often say that that's the right move. Um, it's definitely more of a popular thing for banks in the UK than it is for banks here in the US. Um, Citi is only one of two of the big banks that actually have those roles separate, but um, Citi says that they've been well served by this uh, structure and that they really want to stick by it. And CEO Mike Corbat even was quoted in the release saying this is something that's good for, that's been good for Citi. So. Jenny, there always seem to be issues when regulators cross the road. Is this an issue here? Well, it's been a while since he's been a regulator. So he's actually been inside of City. Um, he's been advising to the board since 2015 um, and has been a, a director for the last year. So I talked to um, a corporate governance expert this morning, Nell Minow, and she actually pointed that out. Like, it's, it's a revolving door, but this door revolved very slowly. And so she was noting that she actually really liked that he had this regulatory background and that it seemed that for once, um, this is a bank, you know, hearkening back to the lessons that it learned during the crisis and saying we want to bring in someone who has some expertise and was with us during those times, um, or not really with us, but was there during those times and, um, and really remembering that and, and bringing that expertise to bear. What's the dynamic of City's board and more generally what's the dynamic between City's board and Mike Corbat and what will the issues they'll have to look at over the next few quarters be? So I think the, the big focus at Citi right now is the fact that they are aiming to return $60 billion to shareholders over the next uh, two years, give it. Um, and it's, it's something that they've been in the process of doing since last year. It's something that they have to go to regulators every year and ask for. Um, and so that's like really the, the big focus for them, um, I think, at both the board and a management level. Um, and there's a bunch of other financial targets that come with that. But I think um, really what we're looking at is Dugan being tasked with uh, ensuring that management meets those targets that were set and um, helping them navigate this very tricky regulatory environment. Um, so it'll be interesting to kind of see how that plays out.